What's up everyone? This is the Jose Show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Happy Tuesday. Man, I am so glad to finally be back and to finally be able to discuss about whatever happens in this world with you guys. Uh, well, anyway, there have been a lot of scandals and a lot of interesting stuff throughout the whole entire time that I've been gone. But one of the major highlights of the year has been Lori Laughlin's scandal, which happened to be the college admission scandal. Well, her former co-star, John Stamos, can't process the fact that she is going through a scandal like this. In an interview for GQ, the Full House alum was unsurprisingly asked about Lauren Laughlin, his longtime on-screen other half on the hit series, and its Netflix sequel who shocked the world in March, when she was charged in alleged connection with what happens with what has become known as a college admission scandal. She and husband Guimosimo Giannulli were accused of paying bribes for totaling $500,000 in exchange for having their two daughters designated as recruits to the USC crew team. Despite the fact that they did not participate in crew, thereby facilitating their admission to USC, an affidavit read, the two pleaded not guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit mail and wire fraud and honest services mail and wire fraud and one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering. Meanwhile, Stamos is keeping quiet and quote, I want to wait until the trial happens, if it does, or whatever the result is, and then talk about it, he told GQ. However, he will say... And quote, I'll tell you one thing that has been strange is, honestly, I can't figure it out. It doesn't make sense, Stamos told the magazine. I talked to her the morning every, I talked to her the morning everything hit. I just can't process it still. That's what Stamos also said. Now, Stamos went on further into the conversation and he said, that whatever happened, I'm pretty sure that the punishment is not equal to the crime, if there was a crime. Interesting, right, guys? Well, now, he's not the only Full House castmate to face the sticky subject. In April, Candace Cameron Bure shared diplomatic words of support for Laughlin. It's too personal to us, she said on Today, while sitting next to fellow co-star Jody Sweden. We'd never want to talk about someone that is a dear and close friend, but I think I've already said that we are family and we stand by each other and pray for each other and we'll always be there for each other. Wow, you guys. Okay, so this is pretty intense still. Um, this scandal has been going on for the past six months now, okay? This is something that God knows when it's gonna end. I mean... I feel a bit, um, I honestly, to be honest with y'all, I feel a bit, um, a bit happy for Lori Laughlin that she didn't get to be, um, that she is, um, fighting for her just, for, well, I'm not gonna say for her justice, cause I mean, what she did wasn't right. But what I'm going to say is that I'm a bit happy for Lori Laughlin that she is fighting and that she is um, going out to court and she's hiring these good lawyers and that she is rich enough to even um, get herself out of this kind of trouble. I mean, when you're rich, you'll get yourself out of a lot of trouble when it comes to a lot of cases. Not to every case, okay? Just like Bill Cosby, for example. He's rich and he got himself into a huge problem and... Look at him now. Now he's in jail, serving 30 plus years in jail. But still, um, when it comes to situations like these, like what, what like with um, Lori Laughlin, I feel like she could probably get herself out of prison time and get herself out of most legal trouble. But here is the thing. Um, I feel bad for Lori Laughlin because Lori Laughlin, she has never been this kind of person that would commit any legal trouble. She's always been such a wonderful actress, such a wonderful human being. I don't know her personally, but I can already tell that she's a wonderful human being. And because of this, I feel like um, it's just mistakes like these that really um, make you not believe that it comes out of a person like Lori. And also, 
I feel like, hey, um, if Lori Laughlin's getting herself out of trouble, then good for her, and, but at the same time, I'm glad that she's finally learning from her actions, and she's finally learning from the consequences that, um, that life is giving her for what she did. Now, I do have to admit, though, that Lori Laughlin, she most possibly might not even get, um, jail time for what she's doing. Because, like I said, she has good lawyers and all that. But, I do think, though, that Lori Laughlin is going to, um, is going to get some type of punishment. Because what she did was pretty major, and I don't think the court's gonna really condone or, um, um, save her on not getting into a punishment at all. So, um, my good, my good vibes and my good luck go, go out to the, um, Gianuli Mosimo, to the, um, Mosimo, to the Gianuli and Laughlin family. My, my, um, good luck and my good vibes go out to them, even though what I, even though I have to admit what they did was not right and what they did was something that was not supposed to ever happen um so yeah that's all i gotta say and um let's see what happens next throughout these next few months with lori laughlin and mosimo ginuli that's pretty much all i gotta say but That's pretty much all.